What is going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado, and my full-time job is selling things on eBay and making YouTube videos about it. I've got 10 things that I sold on eBay this past weekend. I've got to get all those pulled, packed, and shipped out. And I also have two things that I sold on Facebook Marketplace. So let's go ahead and get to work. First item is in the C bin, and it's a set of telephones that I found inside of the Goodwill Mystery Palette. Uh, there's the base and there's three phones. I'm going to pull everything out real fast. Like I said, I found this set of phones inside of the Goodwill mystery palette. I paid $40 for the whole palette and that was just one of the items inside. So I probably have less than a dollar into this set and it sold for $25 plus shipping. So next item is over here in the V bin down here and it is a faceplate for a ring doorbell. It's just like the, the white cover for it. I found this at Dream Deals on fill a bag day. So I have probably less than a nickel into this and it it sold for $14 free shipping. This next item sold to a viewer of the YouTube channel named Hayden Quimby and he bought these brown men's uh, like dress casual shoes that I picked up in our last YouTube video. These This brand is called Four Brothers and Hayden sent me an offer of 20 bucks plus shipping on those and I went ahead and accepted it because it was a super fast sale. I paid $6.50 for these so still making a nice profit. So Hayden, thanks for the support and I hope you enjoy the shoes. This next sale is the Canon camera bag case that I listed in my last video. We found this at Goodwill for $5.75 and this also sold to a viewer named Andy Lepper. Andy has bought numerous, numerous things for me over the last year and a half to two years. He's been watching my YouTube channel. He is a great guy. Andy, thank you so much, thank you so much for your support. And Andy paid 25 bucks plus shipping for this bag. It's going to Georgia, so it shouldn't cost too much to ship. But Andy, uh, you're the best, man. I really appreciate all your support over the years. Next item going out is this pair of Allegria or Allegria women's uh, clog shoes, bright floral print, basically brand new condition. Not a single thing wrong with these. Uh, I got these at Goodwill a couple weeks ago for $6.50. It's so funny because my Goodwills usually put out new shoes once once a day and they like put a whole bunch of shoes in like a grocery buggy and wheel them out and then like one lady puts them on the shelf. And technically they don't want you digging around in the buggy for shoes. They want to try to keep it civil. But the lady that's been putting out shoes lately is, bless her heart, she's just a little older and she just takes forever. Like they'll have like 30 pairs of shoes in the cart and it'll take her three hours to put them on the shelf. It's just crazy. So I was pacing by and kind of eyeing the buggy to see if there was something in there worth waiting on. And I saw those and I was like, okay, do I want to just keep walking by waiting for her to put them on a shelf or do I want to grab them out of the buggy when she turns her back? And that's, that's what I did. Being honest with you guys, I paid for them. I didn't steal the shoes, but she went to go put up some shoes on another shelf and I just walked by and grabbed them. Uh, so paid $6 and 50 cents for these and a uh, really great sale here. These sold for $39 and 99 cents plus shipping. Really, really great shoe sale on some uh, gently used Allegria, Allegria women's shoes. Interesting sale down here in the M bin. It's a pair of, uh, a set of two pairs of pants. I think these are ones, Kim Rogers. Yeah, there's a lot of two Kim Rogers super stretch pants sold for $30 plus shipping. Not a bad clothing sale there. However, these have been listed for probably a year if if not a year at least like 10 months i got these at goodwill I paid four dollars and 75 cents both of them are 4.75 for each pants and uh, uh both of them were new with tags and they were both the same size and same style so i thought you know kim rogers isn't a great brand but people wear it all the time and new with tags these retail for like 70 bucks a piece so I thought I could get you know 50 or $60 for the lot of two, uh, but that was not what happened. Somebody finally sent me an offer of 30 bucks uh, on these, again, almost a year after they were listed, and I accepted that thing super fast. These will probably go out in a padded flat rate envelopes, uh, and they paid $8.55 in shipping, so that'll even be cheaper than shipping. So technically, I'm gonna make like 31 bucks on this. Not too bad. Next item is over here in the X-File. -da 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 -da. That's Twilight Zone. Okay, we got a Nintendo 64. I talked about this in my last video I got it from a neighbor for 50 bucks for personal use it came with three controllers I sold two of the controllers for like 20 bucks each plus shipping so I'm in into this about ten dollars or so eight to ten dollars and it sold for 89.99 plus shipping uh, it came with the system the cords and one controller not too bad I think 89 am I lying I don't think I'm lying 
Uh, yeah, it's sold. Yeah, eighty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Really good sale on just a an N sixty four console. Next item is down in the V file, and it is my Oral B toothbrush that I got in my wholesale ninjas lot. I bought. Uh, well, I didn't buy. They they sent me a lot of stuff to uh, make a video about, and this was one of the items they sent me. Uh, so I had zero dollars into it. Uh, but if you would if you would have paid for the lot, it was three hundred items, three hundred and three items for five hundred ninety dollars. So I think it's like. A dollar and ninety-two cents per item. So let's say I have a dollar and ninety-two cents in this theoretically, and it sold for fifty-four ninety-nine free shipping. Next item is over here in this video game box, and it's this remote control, Panasonic Audio System remote control. Pretty sure I got this at the Goodwill Bins for I don't know twenty-five cents or so, and it sold for ten dollars free shipping. And this actually sold to a viewer of the channel named uh, Pat Bogart. Pat, thanks so much for support, man. I really appreciate that. Again, he paid ten dollars free shipping. It's probably going to cost. Uh, I don't know, three, four dollars to ship. So not making a ton of money, but remotes are super easy to list, easy to store, and easy to ship. I sold another one of these eye witch hazel cream things. I got these at Dream Deals for a dollar each, and I've been, uh, I got eight of them. So it was just at one listing with a quantity of eight, and I've sold three or four so far. This one sold for nine dollars and ninety nine cents free shipping, and it sold to a viewer named Krissa. Baria. So Chris, thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed the eye cream. I also sold two more of my support your friends t-shirts. One sold to a viewer named Jabari from St. Louis, Missouri, and the other sold to a viewer named Amanda from Langton, Ontario, Canada. So thank you guys for your support with those. And then finally, I sold another support your friends hoodie to a viewer named Julia from Richfield, Utah. So Julia, thank you for your support. Hope you enjoy the hoodie. And then moving over to Facebook Marketplace, I said I sold two items. However, this is an interesting situation. So if you guys watch my channel, you know I'm trying to do that starting from zero challenge to see how much money I can make just with flipping items in 30 days. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it up here in the card. Uh, but a viewer found one of my listings from that challenge on Facebook Marketplace and purchased it. A viewer named William from uh, Fort Walton Beach, Florida bought my, uh, this, it's like a Harry Potter book. It was uh, hardback tales of Beetle the Bard. He bought it for 12 bucks plus shipping. So I appreciate the support, but if you guys happen to find my Facebook marketplace profile or happen to find my second eBay store, please don't buy anything from that. I'm trying to, in that challenge, a big aspect of that challenge is to make sales that aren't to viewers. I want to take social media completely out of the equation. So we paid $6 for that book, sold it for 12 plus shipping, 5% fee, um, so making like, I don't know, five bucks or so. So William, thanks for support. Don't buy anything else. <laughs> and then my next Facebook Marketplace sale is this pair of FootJoy golf shoes right down here. I've had these listed on Facebook and eBay for a while now, uh, and they finally sold on Facebook Marketplace for full asking price, $41 plus shipping, which is really great for just a pretty basic pair, you know, just a black leather pair of FootJoy golf shoes. Okay, so I'll show you this. That's the buyer's name. First name is Nancy, and there's the item price, $41 plus $8 shipping, sales tax. Total paid by paid, bleh, total paid by buyers fifty two thirty one after fees I'd make forty nine dollars and sixty nine cents but I also have to take out the shipping on that so it's actually forty one sixty nine so pretty good on some used Footjoy golf shoes so that's all the orders I have to pull today I'm gonna get all those pulled packed and shipped out but I have been getting a lot of questions recently about how I organize my bin system like how do I know which items are in what bin and there's a section under item details on eBay the very last option will say something like custom SKU, SKU, or custom label. And anything you type in that box will show up when that item sells. So if I have this jacket list, actually it's funny enough, if I have this jacket listed and this jacket sold, I'm pretty sure the custom SKU on this I wrote was on top of P-Bin, like I put on top of P-Bin in custom SKU. So when this sells, it'll come up, you know, your item sold, here's the buyer address, custom SKU on top of P-Bin. So I know exactly where to go to find this. So I don't put, I don't have any category of items that only go in certain bins. I just look for a bin that has room. Like I could fit something in this R bin right now. So if I wanted to list that baseball glove, which I'm not, because that's my personal baseball glove. Uh, but if I want to list that, I would list it and put R in the custom SKU field. And then when that baseball glove sells, it'll come up R and I just go to the R bin and pull the item out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, you guys, I haven't been to this Goodwill back here in three or four months. So I figured I'd drive over here today and see what we can find. These would be four dollars and fifty cents. No laces. I'll grab them. Some white and pink Adidas golf shoes. Excellent condition. Basically like new. Six fifty. I'll grab those. 
another pair of golf shoes here some women's nike golf shoes really good condition a couple little scuffs but those should come off with a magic eraser 650 grab them okay so i just found this sony radio which is so crazy because i found this ex pretty much exact radio when i was thrifting with ben the other day but it didn't have the hardware to mount it and it didn't have the remote this one i plugged it in it does work and it has the remote so it's awesome and it's only eight dollars and 89 cents weird price but i'll definitely take it this should sell for about 75 80 bucks or so and this really cool pair of m m's like women's shoes they're like embroidered and there's a date on the inside that says mars 2000 so i don't know if that means the shoes were made in the year 2000 or if that's the year the copyright was but uh they're women's size six pretty cool a little dirty but i think they'll clean out really nice i'm gonna grab them hello how are you oh this one okay That Goodwill was pretty decent today. Like I said, that Sony speaker is going to be really nice. It does work. I can get about, well, say, 60 to 80 bucks on, on eBay for that. But on Amazon, they're going for $129.81. So you'd make $118.44 after, uh, after, after fees. Uh, and it's going to cost maybe like five bucks to send that in. Unfortunately, though, I am, it says it requires approval. So I'm unable to sell this on Amazon. But uh, it just goes to show that it's important to always check electronics, especially if you have a VCR or a combo unit or a Sony radio and you have an Amazon seller account, always take the time to search and see if you happen to be ungated because that's an extra, you know, 30 bucks right there, just sending it to Amazon that you could get. And some VCRs, uh, like for instance, Drew the other day, um, a friend Drew that I do the podcast with Profit Monsters, he found a VCR at, at the flea market for like 40 bucks or so, and he was gonna sell it on eBay for like 200 and 250, but we found out that it actually sells for over $500 on Amazon. So get into Amazon if you can. Uh, when you first start your account, you're gonna be really restricted on what you can sell. Pretty much all you can sell is books, um, but I will keep trying to show you guys little tidbits of Amazon information like this. Again, something Sony, uh, these things, especially since it has all the, all the, the mount brackets things and the remote uh, this would be really good to sell on amazon if i was able to all right you guys so obviously i'm home now and i want to end today's video by talking about a neutral feedback that i recently received in my ebay store as you can see here the buyer bought a lot of two mustela baby soothing cleansing body gels uh, and she left me neutral feedback and said, packaged well, communication lacking, thanks. And as you can see here, I responded. I said, no messages received, not sure how to improve communications. And then a funny little thing, because I don't know, I'm not really concerned about neutral feedback. I mean, I'm still at 100% positive over the last 12 months, and that's the only neutral feedback I received. And honestly, I think one neutral or even a negative feedback here and there can make you seem like, more of a true seller like when people see a hundred percent positive feedback it can kind of seem fake sometimes like i almost prefer like a 99 percent or 98 percent. maybe not 98 99 99.9 um but i'm not that concerned about it but i feel bad because i searched her username over here i was just like i don't remember getting a message from her that's why i responded to the feedback in that way but i searched her username and pulled up messages and she did send me a message i i didn't i don't remember getting this um I, she said hi i was offered a discount of 20 dollars for this item will i be refunded the difference i thought i had clicked on the correct amount but obviously i did not thanks vicky so i think what had happened was i sent out offers on that that cleansing gel stuff for like 20 bucks and she maybe just didn't click at it, click on the offer and accept it in time and it went back to the original price of so $27. Um, so I feel bad because I responded to the feedback saying that I didn't get a message, but I did. Uh, so obviously I do need to improve my communication. So uh, Nermal's Mom 58 on eBay, uh, also known as Vicky, thank you for the support. I really appreciate that. And I'm really sorry that I didn't respond to your message. Um, I, you know what? Maybe I can go back and refund her the $7 right now. So here it is, refund the buyer. I chose other adjustment because um, I'm certainly not going to choose, you know, seller out of stock or item not received or not as described. So other adjustment, that's what my default reason is going to be. Uh, my message, hello, I'm so sorry that I missed your message about the refund. Totally my fault. I've sent you a $10 refund now to make up for that. Again, I'm very sorry. Have a great day. Hopefully uh, this this makes makes it up to her. So I sent a $10 refund. Uh, yeah, review refund. And send my refund has been initiated
Awesome. Hopefully that made it up to you, uh, Miss Vicky. I am so sorry. Again, uh, I kind of jumped jumped the gun on responding to your neutral feedback. Uh, just goes to show, I deserve it sometimes. <laughs> you know, sometimes I get neutral and negative feedback, and it's just total BS. You know, we can. That's the ones I could get removed. But in this case, I, I dropped the ball. And it's. Uh, I think. I think sometimes a business it's it's okay to admit when you're wrong. It's kind of healthy to admit that you you don't have the right answers and you haven't done the right things every step along the way. Uh, but uh, go through your neutral feedback, go through your negative feedback, make sure you at least respond to it. Like I said, I don't think a couple of neutral feedbacks or a negative feedback is gonna hurt your eBay account incredibly. I think it shows like having a 98 or 99% positive feedback shows that your account is healthy, shows that you're a real person that sometimes makes mistakes, you know, or we're not, we're not perfect. Uh, so that's how I handled this one. Uh, let me know if you guys would have done anything differently. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Remember, if you enjoyed it at all, to take a couple seconds and hit that like button down below. It's totally free and really helps me and the channel out a ton. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. You're the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.